Hi everyone. Let's try to find out an answer for the two mind-boggling questions which are haunting most of us recently. The first question is COVID-19 is the worst behind us or is it yet to visit us? The second question is, is the interim COVID-19 relief that we are all relishing currently truly an oasis or is it just a mirage in the desert? And I'm going to give you the answer in three parts. In the first part, I will tell you about the scaremongerer. The variant which is creating a havoc in China and is also responsible for an increase in the number of cases in South Korea, Japan as well as in the USA. And in the next part, I will help you understand what is the impact this variant can possibly cause in India. And in third part, I will help you find out what needs to be done in India to push this impact behind us. So first about the variant, the variant is BF.7, which has evolved from the Omicron sublineage BA.5, which is under monitoring. So has this variant all of a sudden appeared very recently? The good news is no. A mutational profile resembling BF.7 has been detected as early as February 2021 and was finally named as BF.7 in May 2022. And in these 22 months, it has managed only to infect less than 0.3% of the world's population. So what about the scenario in India? In India currently, more than 73% of the infection is caused by XBB variant, which has evolved from BA.2 Omicron sublineage. And the three cases of BF.7 which were detected in Gujarat were uh, identified in the months of July, September and November 2022. And none of these three patients had to be hospitalized and in none of these patients action is, uh, the infection is still active. And two of them were not completely immunized. So this should answer your question about the virulence of this virus. Or in other words, this should answer your question about how bad an infection it is going to cause. It is not that worrisome because none of them had to be hospitalized. Now the next question is about the transmissibility of this virus. R0 is a uh, factor, yeah? R0 is a variable that determines transmissibility of any virus. And R0 of BF.7 in China has been calculated to be between 10 and 18, which is translated as every person who is infected with BF.7 can potentially infect 10 to 18 more individuals, which is alarming. But the good news is R0 is a variable which varies across population because one of the factors which determine R0 is the herd immunity which is again determined by the vaccine coverage of the population and by prior exposure to infection. So the very high R0 value observed in China can be explained by two factors. Number one is the zero COVID policy followed in China followed by a sudden cessation of all anti-COVID measures. Second reason is poor vaccine coverage in China. So we need not be alarmed by these high uh, values of R0. And you can be reassured by the fact that till date it has only infected less than 0.3% of the world's population. So to conclude, we don't have to be very scared about the scaremongerer BF.7 because we have been having this infection around us for quite some time. And it's not expected to cause a very severe illness and it's very unlikely to be highly transmissible in Indian scenario. But the scene is not that rosy given the fact that it is spreading at an alarming rate in the world's most populous country which is China. So in part two of this video I will tell you the impact that can be caused by this variant in Indian scenario. Thank you.